and welcome back to another day for a new Help Choose My Adventure. I am Dragonfire, and today we are adventuring with Angel, as always on Sundays on Twitch. So for today's episode, we have a community poll on my YouTube channel. I haven't had much uh, response just yet, but uh, it's okay. We're still a growing community. So, what I would like to do, if you take a look in the chat, I will put a link to YouTube. The poll is still up about where to build my Tier 2 base. This is our community server. It is accessible on Discord. If you want to join, hop over into Discord and choose the Conan role. And then you will find server information. I do play live on here often. So as a quick little uh, announcement, I am working on Valheim as well. I am doing a few things behind the scenes right now to get some things started. I am going to make some videos about how to build things, uh, bases and whatnot. Uh, throw some adventuring in there as well. I'm going to also start making how to build videos in Conan Exiles as well. So with that, here's where we're going to build depending on your choice. We have three locations. There we go, they're all on the map. We have three locations picked out, we are going to build either up here in the North Jungle or over here in the South Jungle. And I've kind of picked these areas because they are pretty close to Samantha on our community server. This is also the sinkhole home, so the sinkhole being right here. So for those that uh, may be new, Samantha is the a way in our server to keep people from needing to build um, map rooms all over the map because that does cause a lot more lag and also causes uh, administration purposes if we were to do it as an admin permission to build them and then have to maintain them throughout. So this way, Samantha's there and you can go talk with her. She can help move you around the map to different obelisks. Today's episode, we are going to work our way over to the bay over here. So we're going to ex extend our area that we have visited. We are going to go for one of the pieces we need to remove our bracelet. So that's what we're going to work on today. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. So I've already fed up, <laughs> fed up, I've already fed our thralls here. I've given them a lot of haunches this time. Haunches do increase the vitality when they level or gives them a chance to. So I've given them haunches. It also helps them heal better than steak. Uh, the stakes do help also with the vitality, but haunches give them a little bit faster healing. So, we're going to work with bows today. Let's see here. Do I have... Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, here is a list of our mods. That list is will automatically be downloaded if you have the settings set up in your game. And it will... It may have to restart your game in order to get all the mods working, but you can join right in, it'll download everything for you. Alright, one thing we're going to do before we go. Oh, in the last episode I was looking for getting some blood and I kind of forgot to grab some uh, flesh of some sort to make some blood. So there, I now have more than ten. And now we have enough to level up 
the next level spells here off of our tome. So let's go ahead and do that. Now let's see what spells we get at this level. And I forget how many times we've done this already. I want to say it's three or four. So we got mass call and detect resources. That could come in handy. Actually, hey, before we run back downstairs, let's go up here and take a look. So for the next, okay, we're going to need, need more blood. We're also going to need some weathered skulls. So we will have to try to remember to grab some more blood. Otherwise, I'll just do that real quick off screen as I'm running around gathering resources. So if we look at our knowledge, it's sorcery. So we've gotten a few of these out of the way. This is, let's see, reveal corruption. Which ones did we do? All right, we got that one. Harvest and recalls minerals in an area around the caster. I do believe you have to be 20% corrupted in order to use it. And we already hit slow fall. And then this one, detect resources. Focus on rare resources in the natural world, revering nearby deposits. Not sure about that one. Not sure I've seen anyone actually really use that one. Alright, well, let's get moving. We're not going to bring those guys. So, we're going to have her follow. We're going to have him follow. Before we do that, we're also going to have them join our thrall party using Hosev's UI. Now they show up in our Right hand column. Um, we're going to leave Horse today because I think he might get in our way. Because we do have a way to move around. As I mentioned earlier, we do have Samantha. So let's go ahead and we're going to warp to the Welcome Center. That is available. To all on the server. Go give the walking center a chance to fully come in. This is a very grand wall. So as a, those of you that have not been in here, this is where you will come when you first show up. Come on in, say hi to Angel, say hi to Dragonfire, Look around, enjoy the scenery. The buildings that you see are giving you some representation of some of the pieces that are available through different DLCs and through the bazaar. So in here, the office is where you'll find Angel and Dragonfire. And in here is the tavern, some dancers, tippy table. You'll find 50 KL Gunner over here, and you'll find Samantha over here. Be sure to talk to everybody. So here, Samantha, our witch, is going to take us to the South Jungle. Don't pet the kitten. Don't pet the kitties. <laughs> All right. So as we show up, let's go ahead and get out of the way and because you will gain corruption as you hang out at an obelisk. If you haven't done so whenever you show up, go ahead and hit that obelisk. So up there, you can kind of see that tent up there. That is where Samantha is. So she's up there to be a little safe from the kitties that are running around in the area. There they are. So if you didn't know, when you come into the South Jungle Lavas, be, be on the watch for kittens. Ah! Alright guys, get the kitty cat. Come on. You can do it. Ah, they dodge nicely. No. Alright, so we want to head over that way. I do believe. Yep. We want to go that way. 
We're going to work our way that way. There is a tree over here that you can use. Probably could walk down over there. To kind of work your way down. That or you jump, grab the wall. Depending on where the community decides to vote. We believe I am near one of the locations. Let's see here. Yep, I am right here near the location. Can't jump up there, good grab. Let's see. So right down there. So that'd be one location for building in the sub jungle. Hmm, I am interested in, since we are exploring to get down there, what's over there? Uh, let's see if we can run around this. Could use a little more stamina. So what I like to do when I am divvying out my attributes, I do like to do them in increments of five. There we go. Washer of the Passage. There isn't much up here other than a place to explore. Hmm. I wonder if it's buildable in here. That could be interesting. All right. So we want to go over there. To get over there, I'm going to jump. Uh, I really think this is deep enough. There we go. If you are new to the game and have not taken a long dive, you can get a Steam reward for, or a badge or something like that. From jumping off there and falling and surviving. One thing to keep an eye out for when you are walking around this area is keep an eye out in the water. You can find chests of gold. All right, guys, go. Make sure they're responding. Sometimes they don't. Another interesting place to build is up there on that island. Oh, look, another crocodile. Are you guys going to move or no? They don't really want to move. No. Nope. Listen to me, go. Pokey, pokey, mate. All right. So based on what I was just saying, I do have three attribute points to spread at the moment, and I'm coming close to a fourth. I have a feeling that I will hit that fifth one here pretty soon. Bucket your bay. That is where we need to be. So, there's a lot of shipwrecks in this area. If you look around in this area, you find a lot of treasure boxes of treasure that they were carrying. I was trying to figure out if it was a... how to say it without saying treasure again. I'll give you a quick look out here. So on the server at the moment, while I'm playing, I did freeze time so that it won't change it'll make it easier for everybody to see. So here's a chest, loot some gold, silver. There are a bunch around this bay. So come on out here every once in a while, 
You need some silver, you need some gold. If we do find a sorcerer, we can bring him into those guys there to turn him in. Oh, really? You wanted to move, huh? Come on, stop walking. Fine. And now you want to attack. Okay. We see how it is. Yeah, we'll take some more. Actually, that's iron. I think I have plenty of iron. Alright. So, where we want to go is up there. That is where the captain is. And of course, the captain has treasure. So what's interesting is they have put these people amongst the regulars. And of course, this guy wants to fight me. He came over from the caravan over there. Right, we don't need any of that. Yeah, nothing worth it. Uh, maybe that. Oh, Rumbin. Tab. So I do have some rough wraps, we get rid of that. So let's go ahead and eat a little. I use up one of the week, I guess. Help us generate a little bit more. So they're both 19, they're getting close. Now they shouldn't attack. They're all facing the same direction. Oh, they're attacking. Apparently they're set on attack all enemies. You'll death for me now or swing for me. Guys. Pokey, pokey, mate. Let's see, since he's the tougher one, let's do this too. Behavior. And he has the irritate perk turned on. And she has it off. So he will attend to draw attention. And nothing much. Okay. I don't have all my obelisks with me, otherwise we could do that. Should put the truncheon in my hands. I'm gonna put it there. Hmm. Get a feeling that might be handy if we try something there. If I run into a sorcerer or something, we can attempt to uh, knock him out. Got a little bit of lag going on here with this. It should end pretty soon, I think. I leveled up. Alright, they're gonna split up and go in different directions. Anybody else is seeing a slight drop in frame rate. Swing for me later. Uh, I'm out here too. Uh, grab some more arrows. I wonder if she's got some arrows. She does. <clears throat> All right. So everybody up here will be hostile anyway. So. Let's see if we can draw in one of these guys. There's a sorcerer. Sorceress. Ah, 
You got her attention. Uh, leave right now. Three. Switch. Knock her out. Is there any good? I'll knock her out. There we go. So let's see here. Switch away from that. Let's go ahead and pull that out. So we're going to bind the sorceress and we're going to take her over here. Why not? Take advantage of it. Go ahead and grab some more obelisks. They say obelisks. They're not obelisks. And up here. Claim the bounty. They are Obelus. Should have changed the name. All right. Any more, we will just kill them because I think that gives me over fifty. Because I have a bunch back at the other house. Oh, do we got some uh, goldstone here too? All right. Let's go ahead. Hmm. Stick that in there, but I don't think we're going to use it. All right. Let's go ahead and run on up. So everywhere sorceress is standing, sometimes you can find a sorcerer page. We can, and we can use them to make more spells. Somebody's got yeah, somebody's attention here at Jamila's Liberty. Oh, here they come. I knew that was happening. <laughs> It always happens. When you're using knives, uh, it's harder. Let's see if I can get up without getting attacked. I know you have to switch to the short sword. That might be the choice. <laughs> as much as I like the daggers, I may need the short sword. Uh, let's see, here we go, some more arrows. Alright, let's take a quick peek. One second here. Alright. Uh, there's more guys up here. Let's go this way. Oh, I might be safe in here to use the uh, daggers. Corsair Elite Boss. Uh, yeah. I want my daggers. Oh, getting shot over here. Great. If they can pull his attention, I'll go take care of this guy. I fell again, because I missed. <laughs> that gets so annoying in here. Let me up here. It came over to help me. It's like, no, keep on this guy here. He needs it. What's nice is when you are working with these, you can, I'm going to pull that and see what it looks like, um, the short swords, you can keep the light attacks going, 
and they will just keep staggering them. Let's take a quick look around. Oh, there's a book here. Go ahead and interact with that. Cargo list. All right, we'll head back up here. Head toward this side of the ship. Taskmaster 2. They get a little stuck sometimes trying to figure out how to get up to you. But unfortunately, you have to kind of make it easy. Oh, they're going to be on attack everything, and they can be below. Alright, I'm going to have to do this a little solo until they catch up. Because they want to go down. See what I mean? Another elite. Let my stamina catch up. They won't let me get in there. There. Yeah. They wouldn't uh, let me get through the fight there. Yeah, look, we picked up the blood that we are going to need. We'll see if we can grab some more before we jump uh, off the end here. Some more arrows. Some more arrows. Yeah, why not? Good here. Let's see, how warm are we? 26. Hmm. Let's go ahead and use that. It cools us down. I think we should be okay. And then... Let's see. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and have some soup just so we eat something. We're going to use Hanuman's gift. Let's go ahead and use that and see what it did for us. Strength weapon damage increase. It doesn't exactly help. I use the other ones. Yeah, I wanted to wanted to roll out of that one. I'm gonna have. I'm almost dead, so I have to. Uh, I have to recover. Seven. There we go. Now with a headache, that'll clear up here in a moment. Let's go ahead and use a wrap. Oh, guys, is definitely fine down there. All right, there we go. We're going to go ahead and use a haunch so we can heal up a little bit faster. doesn't help when they target the wrong people. Let's make sure they are on attack all enemies there. We'll just turn him on attack, and we'll put her on defend. This way, when he attacks, she automatically will... But she won't necessarily attack straight out. More likely, more likely to follow me. And then there's a guy coming up over here. They see him. There's also a cute cat there. Oh, look where we found. We got a skull. Turn that in as well. Just grab a kitty cat. Pick up a stray cat. Yeah, 
And does she level up 20? There we go. Let's take a look. If she is 20, what did she get? Strong arm. So, fairly equal as far as her stats go. Strength weapon or the agility weapons. What is, actually, what is her follow distance? Engagement, so the, alright, follow distance, I want it closer. Right, there we go. Go out of the way. Need to drink a little more water. Got pretty thirsty there. Really? There we go. I am going to draw him near because there is another archer up there. In fact, Let's see if you drop anything good. Arrows, we're gonna need those. All right, we're gonna let them run in. Oh, draw. Put one in his forehead. Oh, uh, here comes a cat. Sweet. Ah, oh, missed the roll. Come on, are they attacking or what? She's got to do it. I have a pole in my way. There we go. I am starting to heal up, so I'm going to do a little something. And the other guy fell. Oh, the captain's bodyguard. Guys, come on! Oh, turn targeting off. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. This is why I bring you along. All right. We don't need any of that. What else we got over here? Yeah, we don't need any of those. Yeah, what's this guy got? Yeah, it's me. All right, we're gonna move on up over to here. All right, another good place to be. And make them go get him. So in this place, you can get this. And you learn the Zangarian Archer. Oops, nope, this. <laughs> there. Now I'm ordering them to move. I'm not interacting with it. You're supposed to be able to... Oh, here it is. Now I learned the Buccaneer and Black Corsair Guards. So you don't learn it from the stand, you learn it from the book. Like happens on... Like happens on the Hyena Armor and a couple other pieces as well. Yeah, we don't need any of those. Let's see if we can finish healing up just a little bit more. All right. So again, head on over to my Discord. You can join on to the server. And when you do, 
I will be running around here every once in a while. And on Sundays, you might even see your base on stream. So let's see, where else do you need to get up to? So there's a guy way over there. How did I not even hit him? There it goes. It noted is that it wasn't far enough. It's like it hit something else. Hit him. That way I can walk over. Okay, I don't want to fall from here. Arrowhead I can grab because I hit the wall apparently. Brimstone and finds for the horse. I'm going to try to keep them ahead of me because they'll draw the attention. There you go. See, once he decided to attack, she decided to attack with him, so. Well, if I can keep them down to one at a time. Everybody. So here, okay, guys, you have to get off of that location. So here, besides the arrows, besides the scourge, here we go. That is what we're looking for. These are the scourge, the shattered scourge stone pieces. So we're taking that. So we have what we're looking for there. I'm gonna go ahead and ransack this place and take all of his plunder. See, oh, we'll take that. Take all of that. Wish we could pick up some of this other stuff. Use it for decoration around the base. Another cat. And seat, which you can't sit in. Yeah, nothing else you can pick up around here. Alright, so there we are. This is the fun part. So we've made it all the way up here. And that was not an easy run. But you can get down pretty easy. Catch your breath. Dive down and take a look while you're down here. If you need to, these glowing sticks work underwater. Keep that chest. Come up for a breath. Keep an eye on down below. Turn off the glowing stick. If you keep your head ducked just at the edge of the water, you can see clearly down below. Also, in this area, not quite here in the bay, but a little bit further over, closer to the mouth of the river. I'll show you real quick here. If you are on this side of the map building, you can still get your brimstone. You just have to look for it. So, right down there. So I can pick that up and collect brimstone. It is unfortunately limited. You have to actually pick it up. So you don't get quite as much as if you go to Shattered Springs. However, Samantha can help you get there pretty easily. So look for the bubbles under the water and you can find brimstone. 
there we go. There we have it. We now have that piece. So we're going to use our home. So slash home, and why did I hear squish? Like somebody just died. Somebody did just die. How did he just die? I just lost my guy. Alright, she's gonna stay there. I'm going to... So you can also do a slash return. What? Who just died? No, he's right here. He's not dead. Uh, he's okay. He's making death sounds, but he's not actually dead. All right. Well, that unfortunately also does one other thing. I can't go home from here. So where is the nearest home? So if I look on the map, I can't just warp home anymore. So we want to go here. It's either a long run back, or actually we could go to the sinkhole. I could show you what I was looking at up here, or and where is it? Down here? Yeah, down here is. Yeah, let's go to the sinkhole. Right? I think we can do that. I'm trying to think if I've actually got the sinkhole. Oh, slash warp. So he's making squishy sounds. It's weird. But he's not squishy. There he is. Alright. Let the place load up just a little bit before we go running too far in. Corruption, it's gone. So let's see, can she take me to the sinkhole? Have I seen it? I have seen it. <laughs> Don't fall in. All right, we are here. I don't know if I got that. Find out. I did. We got. We learned squirm. I did not. I did not grab that when I was here. All right, so I think I have him on attack, everybody. I don't want him on attack, everybody, at this point. Engagement, so just guard me so you don't attack these guys. I didn't grab my obelisk while I was there. Obelisk, obelisk. Oh, wait, I have a skull. Let's turn that in. A few more things. All right, so the other home that we were looking at, which at least for the next uh, little bit of time has pretty good access to that caravan, is right up here. So if you look on the map, yeah, so in this area, on this peninsula up here, There's access to iron over there. There's definitely a lot of rocks. There are coal deposits around. There's some there. Lots of rock trees down there. This is a very central area. So we have access to visiting over this way. We have access to the sinkhole. The arena's over here. The Summoning place is right over there. The Tower of Bats right over here. There's the Warren of Degenerates. The Black Hand Galleons up here. So, pretty central in the map. Nice rounded area here. Over here, we have access to a lot in this area. The jungle we haven't been through, but that also has, that's also near the Queen that we need to go to to get more pieces, or to get another piece. I think our tier three base will be somewhere in this area. 
possibly even a little bit further into the snow. Well, for now, let's see if, uh, yeah, we need more time. So I can't teleport back until we get more time, but that's okay. We can run down to the sinkhole and find Samantha if we wanted to. But I want to kill that, not you. Yes! Experience for me. Who's shooting at me? I don't see who's shooting at me anymore. Oh, wow. They came right here. Wow, they made it. <laughs> I can't believe they made it up. <laughs> they pushed their way up. That was nice. Quick jab. Well, what did he bring me? That was that was a skull. Okay. Wow! So they can push up from there. I didn't think they could. Look, shuffle down here too. Watch your flanks. These guys are not worth much experience. Oh, we got Raiders Ridge. Haven't seen that place yet. So there we go. What do they have here? Oh, we'll take another vault of land. There was a sorcerer down here. All right, I don't see a sorcerer's page. Okay. Well, while we're here. Oh wow. He didn't know I was there. Alright, here we go. Turn that in. Collect more. And he wins, so we can keep going. Hit him. There he goes. These humans are only worth 500 experience points. They're not really worth much. Kudo, on the other hand. Oh, yeah. There is this as well. When you're at the, well, the backside of the obelisk at Sinkhole. By order of the Warmaker, the Gladiator Arena has been closed. All gladiators have been called to serve in the war effort, and the competitions have been suspended. All beasts <laughs> have been penned for the duration, and all slaves working the arena are recalled to the city for reassignment. Obey and return, slave. The war requires everybody. So now he's just kind of advertising the arena itself, which the sinkhole is actually attached. That is the arena. The arena is an area that leads to the sinkhole. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Samantha again. She can return us from, to the keep from Anomalisk. Oh, there's a keep here. Unfortunately, I still cannot do a home teleport yet. So, we're on a run. Alright, so some of the commands you can do for moving around, you can do a slash set home, which will set a location that you're standing at as your home place. And then you can do a slash home to get there. Oh, here's another note. I believe this is when my father died. I knew they would become Rosmus Jim. It was only a matter of time. What I didn't expect was You can this. read while I'm chatting here. And left to rot so, on the edge of a wasteland so you can do a slash home and that will make you Go to the point that you did a slash set home, to kill me. They are mongrels. and then cast off bloodlines of slaves, uh, and, commoners. and then and while you are out and about, 
or even if you're home, you can do a slash warp space welcome. That will bring you to the welcome center. Then you can go from there and talk with Samantha and anywhere that you have been and talked with her already at each of the obelisks. You can uh, use her then to teleport to each of the obelisks. Once you're at the obelisk, as you saw, we can then teleport out from there. Looks like they've been done. Um, you can then teleport from there to the uh, welcome center. Watch your flanks. Stamina. This is a corrupted or a black kappa. We definitely don't mind having that one. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one. We get some demon blood. Ooh, a nice advanced armor repair kit. I think that was or patch kit. That is. Uh, if you will give me one moment, I am going to go ahead and hop off stream here real quick. I'll be right back. All right, thank you for the break, and we'll we are back. So when somebody's uh, car window won't shut, I have to explain how to uh, help it. The weather's gotten a little nicer, so when uh, when somebody rolls the window down and they forgot that there aren't fingers in the way. It rolls back down. All right, so again, we're just running along here. We're trying to get back up to the Doghead Island here. And swimming is a little slower, but your stamina tends to last a little longer. But that's okay, we can, we can make this run. Heck, you never know. Maybe we'll come up with 162k in experience and level up. I don't think so. Um, not for this run. This is New River, so pretty basic, pretty easy. All right. And, oh, you know what? Let's fill up our water skin too. All right. Keep our run. All right. So let's see. What else can we talk about? Can we explain? 
Well, let's let's have some fun. See, so is that the direction I want to go? That is quite literally the direction I want to go. So let's go ahead and we're going to left click. We're going to pick raw forces of nature. And oh, I have I don't have a burlap pouch. Oh, I need a burlap pouch. Oops, wrong button. Right click cancels. Well, so much for the fun. I'll have to swim across. Wait, is that a... The regular cock, I believe. Oh, I snipped his snout. His snout off right there. Alright. Oh, yeah. In case you haven't known, if you pick up some of this yellow lotus blossom, pick up a couple of them, go to your, uh, I think it's your alchemist bench, and turn it into a yellow lotus potion, and you can reset your knowledge. There is a home that we visited. Have we... Yeah, have we done that one? There's a ghost that swims here too. So if we watch him... There's a guy that appears right over here where he's standing. And he shoots him. There's actually two places on the map that do this. Where you'll see a ghost swimming. Somebody shoots him with a crossbow. Hey, that'd be nice. We should have a crossbow in this game. And then he sinks to the bottom. Where you can find his treasure. Relic hundred bugs, ivy arrows, we don't need any of this stuff. Maybe some stuff that hides like that. Alright, I'll make the swim over. Oh, right. So here, one of our community members for the Sovereign Guard. Hey, AFG Unknown. Doing well today. Sorry, I just looked over and uh, saw your message there. So if you didn't see earlier, I uh, I was at the Buccaneer Bay, and I used my the pit pan for warping home, and I heard crunch like one of my thralls died. So I went back and got him because he didn't die, and so I was stuck running back. Is he going to come in? Yes, he is. Okay. And I didn't really want to lose him being a level 19 uh, crawl. Almost one. That's a croc. Where are you? We are getting closer to level 55. Yeah, that definitely sucks. I haven't played in a while, huh? Here, give me one second here. If you haven't, see if I type that in right there. If you want to join uh, the Discord that we've got, you can uh, come on in. This is our community server. Ooh, fight over here. Yeah, we're, we're on every once in a while. I've got a few games I'm working with. Valheim is one. I'm learning a little bit. I haven't played it. And just started to. But this one here is one of my, I guess at this point, three. Apologies for the mic. Is that better? So, yeah, this is definitely one of my three favorite games to play now, since I like Valheim quite a bit. Good. I 
had pushed the mic away when uh, when I got my phone call. Um, yeah, I've, uh, I've got a Valheim server too. Um, since I'm kind of learning it a little bit, I haven't uh, posted any connection information for it yet, but I'm also on the verge of actually paying for a Valheim server. I have it hosted in a slightly better location than home. This is unfortunately where I am. I get disconnects every once in a while. Ah, oh, yay, we're home. Let's see if I can get my guy back. Awesome. He's here. Whoop, shaky head. So how did he do anyway? He is very close to level. Got to bring him out for a little bit. Plus five vitality. Oh, he hasn't had anything to eat in a while. Oh, well, not going to bring them out. All right. So, let's see here. This little humble homestead. I'm going to have to move everything I want to keep. Rebuild everything else. Let's see, what do I have in down in here? Okay. Go ahead and throw some of this stuff in here that might become useful. I don't need Rosman's journal. Failed sorcerer page. We have four. Need some more. Yeah, um, definitely with Valheim, you don't want to have uh, too many people. Yeah, it's nice to find a community where you have uh, others that are good players. Um, I've run into some where they were just a pain in the butt. Uh, let's see. Where did I put my other pieces? I forget where I put them. I was going to show where they are. So I've got scourge stone pieces. I will have to look for them and figure out where I put them. Um, I'm not very organized in uh, this place. <laughs> so I didn't see him here, did I? No, I have Rosma's quarters keys. The bench up here. Did you see him here? Oh, here it is. Jagged scourge stone. This one. And then that is the mask of the witch queen. So, like a, playing with a little relaxed gamers, get stuck in a bunch of <laughs> tryhards. Uh, yep. Nope. Relaxation is definitely uh, the way to play. It's partly why I like these building games. I'm a, I'm a builder. If you couldn't tell with the architecture in here, I tried something pretty simple. But yeah, I, I definitely like building. The Welcome Center, I spent a probably about a week or two building that. Uh, Dragonfire that I play on the community server, he has a... I built a place there with him. Uh, it's absolutely huge. Looks really cool, I think. Uh, let's see. Did I try... She built this entire place and she does not have much in the way of the battle passes. Um, she's not at level 60. Dragonfire's at 60. She is still way back. If I'm going way fast. Um, yeah, she's way back here still. No, she should have some levels here. I forgot where she's sitting. And it doesn't show us just yet. Um, oh, six. So yeah, I'm not quite at the lion yet, but I haven't, with her, I haven't gone through and bought anything. I haven't done much at all. Uh, oh, those look pretty cool. Too expensive though. Yeah, battle pass now. So 
with the 3.0 sorcery, they've added the a battle pass and item stores. So what you can do with the battle pass is you go through. Oh, here, let's start with the challenges here. So if you go through, you do each of these challenges and you get this experience points. You get every day you get 20. So I get 20 remaining times tens. If you do these ones, legendaries and rares, more than you do the other ones, you go up a lot quicker. So every thousand gets you a new level. Once you get to level 60, so when we hit the battle pass, each each of these, thank every... You. Well, thank you for following. If you look at these here, you get free items, and then you can claim the rewards as you go. And every once in a while, you'll pick up coins here. Each of the each level you go along, when you get to level 58, you will get enough coins to actually pay for buying the battle pass. So you theoretically could buy some crown coins, and if you you buy the ones you want here, but this one's the biggest bang for your buck. I know, 50 bucks, but you get the coins. Don't buy the battle pass until you're going to complete it. Once you complete it, then go ahead and buy the battle pass for 1,200. And it'll give you back the 1,200 coins. So once you get all 1,200 coins back, you essentially didn't spend anything on the battle pass. But you have the $50 worth of coins. Always hold 1,200 coins in your account. And then you could buy some things, but always hold 1200 <laughs> That way, you can always get the battle pass for free every time you do it. All right, so. What I need to do, so I've already loaded up these guys here with supplies. And it didn't actually have to load them up. I have been spending time Gathering the bricks and the iron reinforcement and the insulated wood. And I'm going to put it on the horse. I think I have vines too. Stick the vines on there. So add that, add that. If I hold shift, I don't have to double click. Wait, where'd they go? Here they are. Those are the supplies we're going to use for building our tier 2 base. That's a, yeah, the standard battle pass for other games. Yeah, that's kind of why they did it. Um, yeah. Um, they're looking for the money income so that they can keep developing the game. So they're making patches a little more often, little updates a little more often, and they're doing it across each of the um, platforms. Uh, they're doing it all pretty much right at the same time. All right, so we've got the horse loaded up with, oh, not quite all the insulated wood to hit the second tier amount of it. Uh, here we go. Let's grab all of that. So we've got the horse moved. Got all the stuff here and a little extra insulated wood. Never hurt anyone. Ooh, I'm going to grab the obelisk one, or the obelisk. Did I put them in here? I put them in here. So I should have 50 now. Okay, I got 62. So, with that, I should be able to start building the next place. So we're, we're going to bring these guys with us. I know they're lower level, but maybe they'll level a little on the way. Now, give me one second, and I'm going to refresh this page. All right. It would appear 
that we now have a place to go. So, from here, head back to the welcome center again. Give it a second to load up. So when you're coming in from the first logging into the game, you're going to start off in the broken highway either here or over here. And you're going to come up and you're going to start seeing the lights, which kind of give you a little direction to come to the welcome center. And when you come on in, Gar Gargoyle is the gatekeeper. He will go ahead and say hello to you. Oh, Sandstorm, just in time. I like the Sandstorm. I just don't like being caught in the middle of it. But that's okay. We've survived. You can bring a tent out set it up and find your place to hide in there. You need to have an 80% shelter coverage in order to not be affected by the storm. 60% you'll be slightly affected, but it's not too bad. And we're going to run inside here in a moment. But very nice. Now that we're inside, we have complete coverage. We can get rid of any corruption while we're here. Uh, Samantha's over there. You can also come over here if we wanted to. Play a little hand of Hippie Jack. Hmm, 12. I think I'll hit. Should I hit? I should hit. 18. Okay. Do I hit or do I stay? He already shows 19. What do you think, chat? Well, could be 19. Could be 10. Oh, or if it was 10, it was to be 21. Could be 11. We're going to stay. Aha, they busted. Which means I won five. So yeah, you can essentially play a, a simple version of blackjack here. Now, those coins that you saw I was playing with, you will earn every day you're in the game. You can hey. come talk to some of the um, innkeepers Goodbye. and the people that are hanging outside in the storm over there. They sell goods. You can also get food, water, well, food, drink, water, uh, hide, a few other things. Let's see. I don't want to teleport over there if the sandstorm's still going on. Oh, it's over. All right. So we'll talk to Sam here. All right, so I have not been to the North Jungle. Mm -hmm. So from uh, from our community poll, North Jungle is out. So now we have the South Jungle or the Sinkhole. And which one do I go to? It will be near the Sinkhole. I appreciate everybody for voting to get me out of the rainy area. And I do believe that up here, are we all alive? Yes. We will be far enough away from the sandstorm as well. So since the introduction of the cats in the game, you can use an animal pen to train up a cat. Oh, no, 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 no. You idiot. <laughs> Oh, well. He's in a fight now. Oh, they're bringing fists. I'll just let them do it. I'm not gonna... I don't know why they just have to attack. Alright, I know why, because I didn't set him to stop. Stop! <laughs> they, they get annoying. Alright, I think I have a skull here. No, I don't have a, I don't have a skull. I don't want to talk to you. Taskmaster? Yes, you. Not you. The slaver. This guy. Hmm. Named combatant or named worker. 
Hmm. Good question. I think we'll go with the named combatant. Who did we get? Drum rolls, please. We have an archer. Marcos! Yay, I have another one. <laughs> There's Marcos. <laughs> so I have a second Marcos. So I guess at this point, if anybody wants a Marcos, I will have one available. All right, we're going to head on over to our new campsite. So, let's see. If you are riding a horse and you are over-encumbered, the horse becomes cucumbered, too. But if you unload everything onto the horse, you will not be overweight when you get on the horse, and the horse can carry more. All right. I did tell my guys to get here. I'm not sure how they're going to get here. Oh, here they come. Did they bring anyone with them? Nope. Nope. They didn't bring anyone with them. <laughs> Fun stuff. All right. So, our home. So, we have decided no to this one. I can delete that one. And we said no to this one, we will delete that one. I will have to move everything from the Doghead Island over here to our new location. And, oh hey, while we're here, if I click here, if I can type, Welcome Center. There, now I know which one it is. All right, so this will be our new location. So now the question will be, what should I do next time? Yeah, relocating is a pain. Um, I just did that with my solo stream or my solo game that I'm playing with Dragonfire. Uh, I'm playing on a private. I set it up as a server. It's a private system, uh, so that it's it's pretty much vanilla. There's no mods. This one, we have a lot of mods. So I've got Pippi, Better Thralls, Arena Piers, Savage Steel Volumes 2. I do not have Volume 1. Uh, LBPR and LBPR additional features. Stack Size Plus, Unlock Plus. Evil's Cabinet, which gives a different variety of armor and some decorative clothing and things you can put on your thralls. We have the armor and weapon, well, armor and weapon stats in bench. That's actually extremely handy. So when you're looking at a bench and you're trying to decide which weapon or armor you want, the stats are listed. You don't have to create it first to figure out, nope, that was the wrong one, and wasting materials. Um, so that's very handy. And then music barrel, that's pretty much used at the Welcome Center. There is a little bit of entertainment there with the entertainers. Uh, Amber Light. Uh, WX Smoother Corruption. The corruption function of the Sorcery Edition can make you look pretty undead. So the Smoother Corruption kind of eliminates the sunken skull look, but yet you still maintain the, the corruption look of the veins, and it, it looks pretty cool now. Um, I haven't been too corrupted with this character yet. We're going to get there. Uh, let's see. Fashionist. There's a lot of stuff with the Fashionist. Uh, let's see. There's LBPR. And then Hosev's custom UI mod. That one. So the Hosev's and Pippi. Pippi's more for the management purposes for administering. Hosev's gives us that nice bar in the upper left. Uh, tells us quite a bit more useful information, so it's easier to say, hey, you know, I've got this much armor, or my DPS is 13, I need to get a, it goes up to 69 when I use this weapon, I definitely need something better than this. 
So, so the big question is, what do we do next time? I'm going to start setting up a base here. It would definitely take a while to do it. So from here, we have a few places to go. The uh, yeah, the summoning place is going to be loaded with people, so that might be a little tough to do. Uh, definitely not against trying it. Uh, let's see, the Tower of Bats. That's not too bad. I do have... I don't think it's on me. Um, I think I left it at home. I do have the staff, but I don't have the heart that's got to go with it. So the staff that you get from the dregs, you bring that up to the Tower of Bats with some of the demon blood from the bat, and I want to say it's a heart of a Nordheimer. You combine those, and you can activate the staff, and then you can use the staff. Um, that'll be definitely something I'll show once I can find a heart. Um, let's go ahead and stick this guy on the ground here. Marcos 2. There we go. Now it's not holding me down. Um, let's see, where else? So the Tower of Bats, Summoning Place. Could make another run through the Sinner's Refuge. Been there, done that. Uh, we could run over here. There's definitely a couple things to get around the Tower of Bats. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I might be able to go get Xanth's uh, religion. Keep an eye out. I'm going to put a poll on YouTube as well. We'll see if uh, there's something interesting everybody wants, wants me to go find. Any suggestions in chat would be great, too. Uh, let's see, we definitely got our resources down there. I could probably mine a couple sorcerers and get some named thralls while I'm at it. So, that I'm going to do. Uh, let's see. So, here's, here's what I've got going. Um, do I have? Yeah, I can dance. Not very well, but I do. Um, so what we've got is, with Valheim, I've, I'm going to work on some videos for little how to, how to build things. Maybe how to level up, those kinds of things. With Conan, I'm going to continue with the playthroughs with Angel on Sundays. On Wednesdays, it is Gamer's Choice here on on Twitch. I've not played in a long time. I don't know if you remember anything interesting. Yeah, um, yeah. There's a there is a lot of places. Um, pretty much anything above North uh, New River um, would be open game. I'll, I'll put a couple things out there on the post. Uh, take a look and. Even if you just want to randomly pick one, go ahead. Um, there is a wiki for Conan, so you could look and decide if something looks interesting as well. So I'll go through and try to figure out a couple little options. Um, so yeah, on, on Sundays we're streaming live with Angel. On Wednesdays, evenings, very late, because I get home late from work. Uh, so it's generally after 11 on Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I, I hop on and play a little bit of something. Uh, I've played some Valheim recently. Uh, I've got some City Skyline stuff I've got to do, so I could do a little bit of that. Uh, that's another one of my favorite games. Uh, I have, I have the classic Command and Conquer and Red Alert. Uh, that was on sale on Steam, so I bought that. I haven't played that thing in probably 20-something years, so I picked that up. Might play that just a little bit. I don't know. It's whatever I'm feeling like at the time. And uh, then during the weeks, I am putting out some videos for Dragonfire. 
I am putting out some City Skylines videos a little less often uh, than the Conan ones because well, I'm spending a lot more time playing Conan. I'm also trying to work out some other editing features and functions. So if any of those seem interesting, please head on over to YouTube, take a look, and see what, see what I'm doing on the videos. So... It looks like. Oops, I hit that button. All right. Well, welcome aboard. Uh, see, what do you prefer, AFG or unknown? But welcome aboard. Welcome to the clan. Yeah, hop in server. I uh, will be on here and there. I've got a little bit of post stream stuff to do here. And uh, either works. Must go with the AFG. All right, AFG. I usually get called Dragon. Um, in the past, 20 years ago, I was called DF. DFS stands for Dragon's Firing Squad. Interesting fact. Started with Delta Force, Nova Logics game, and moved on to Delta Force 2, and then Nova Logics. Uh, joint Operations had a squad of guys from around the world. A few of us are still around and we still talk. And if I can get a group of a couple people, I could, could be talked into Modern Warfare. The free version has a three-man squad that you can run around and do some co-op type missions. So that would be fun. So anyway, this is where I need to say thank you for coming. And thank you for allowing me to share my playtime with you. Yeah, I haven't played any of it yet. I don't want random, random players. Well, good to see you there, AFG. I will see you in Discord. Maybe I'll see you on the server here. And I'll see you in my next stream.